school board will vote on how to move forward with masks in schools. It's a decision all school boards are making since Governor Glenn Youngkin's executive order banning mask mandates in schools. 8 News reporter Alex Thorson joining us live in Chesterfield with this story tonight. Alex, good evening. Good evening. The school board is in the building behind me deciding on this right now. Will parents get to choose if their students wear masks in the in the classrooms? I'm told we should have a decision any minute now. Meanwhile, many districts have already made up their minds. A split Virginia since Governor Yonkin's executive order letting parents decide if their kids will wear masks in school. He will attend on Monday without his mask on. He did. Parents on both sides are pleading with school districts to either follow the order or defy it, including last night in Hanover. We put them on because they are one tool in our toolbox mitigation measures. Our children are being trained that living life behind a mask is normal. The Hanover School Board ultimately joining Central Virginia districts like Powhatan, Prince George, and Spotsylvania voting to side with Yunkin. Meanwhile, area districts like Henrico, Colonial Heights, and Petersburg are holding on to their mandates for now. This while Richmond and Prince William join five other Virginia districts taking it a step further, planning pro-mask lawsuits. Virginia's own own laws seemingly contradicting each other. Youngkin pointing to one law empowering parental choice, while on the flip side, another law says schools have to follow CDC guidelines, including regarding masks. I mean, we're going to defend the governor's executive orders in court. Uh, we're going to say that this is part of both parental empowerment. In an exclusive 8 News interview yesterday, Attorney General Jason Miares saying he won't be enforcing Governor Yunkin's ban on mask mandates while the lawsuits play out. And back to CCPS here. Based on comments during a meeting last week, it appears that the board will have the votes to move forward to side with Governor Yunkin on this executive order. Of course, just time will tell. As I said, we should be getting that decision any moment now. In Chesterfield, I'm Alex Thorson. Eight